and we want to go over some basic introduction to the numbers program. First thing I want to let you know is that the numbers, keynote, and pages programs all have the same icons. So once you learn what these icons do in one program, um, there's not a real big learning curve from one to the other. So when you open numbers, and the numbers icon is this right down at, on your dock, looks like a graph, click on it and say new document and then you're going to highlight a blank. Then when you hit that you want to say create and it's going to open a spreadsheet. Now the first thing you'll notice is compared to Excel it doesn't have 8,864 rows and God only knows how many columns out to the right. The idea here is that this spreadsheet, you can have multiple tables. Now, this is called table one by default. You have a, the first row is grade and the first column is grade because that typically is where you're going to put your labels. In here, in this white area, that's considered the body of this. So what we wanna do here um, in this first row, let's say we wanted to do months across there. So you put in JAN, hit return, and it fills January. Now what I wanted to show you here is a very nice feature. If you click on it, and if you hover, you see that little yellow dot? If you click your cursor on it, move it out, you see how it automatically fills. the subsequent months. Very handy feature, very nice. And um, so if we, if we wanted to do, let's say, a, a spreadsheet by month, and then in this column, you can put whatever it is you want to itemize, whether it be, you know, budgetary items for, you know, rent, Um, let's say gas, uh, repairs, and so on and so forth. Now, in here, let's say we're going to put dollar amounts. So if you click in here and you highlight this entire thing, like that. And then on the right hand side here, this, if you click on this, this is your format pane. When you click on that, if you go to cells, this is going to show you your options for the cells. Each of these individual locations, like you have columns, A, B, C, D, and rows. So B2, which is right here, is a cell location. You can format to be that to be a particular uh, kind of format. So the default is automatic, so you can put a number or a label in there. But since we're going to put budgets, we want to use currency. Now you select currency. Now we want two decimal points. Your negative numbers will be preceded by a dash. That's the default. I prefer to use uh, negative numbers in red with parentheses. Notice you also have some check boxes here. Thousand separator. I like to use a thousand separator. And accounting style. Now the accounting style um, would be, it's gonna show you a dollar sign. If you don't want that, that's fine. If you do, you just check it off. Also, if you notice here under currency, you have a lot of other options, a whole lot of other options. Um, if you were doing a conversion, for example, you could do that. But we're going to leave this as U.S. dollars. All right. So now this entire spreadsheet has that format. So when I go into January, the cell B2, and I put in an amount, 25.52, and hit return. All right, I said 25, it's 23.52. Now notice I didn't hit the decimal sign, so it put in $2,352. If I wanted 
you hit two, three decimal point, and let's say 67 cents, boom. And notice it has the dollar sign off to the left. Now, as you put these amounts in, you may want totals. Maybe you want, instead of June here, or let's say, let's say here, instead of April, we want um, first quarter. Okay, so now also you can add and delete rows just by using this icon up here. You can slide that, um, I'm sorry, down here, slide that over, and you can remove rows and add rows. Now as you do that, the format will go with it. So if we wanted a first quarter total, we put in equal sum and then highlight click on that and you see the little dot in the right hand corner slide that over to March hit the check mark and that total comes in, it will be in there so if you put a number into February notice it changed that automatically now, as this top row is called the header. You can also have footers. So if you come down to here, to this row, click on that row, double click on here and say, convert to footer row. Now it's gonna, this is going to convert this row. Now, what's nice about this footer row, if you come in here and you put if you wanted to add that January down, you put an equal sum, click on the column, and hit the check mark. Now, what did I do wrong? Well, what I did, see this is gonna give us a, a exclamation. So if you hit your Command Z, that takes that out. It undoes your last item. So what you want to do is click on your column. You want to hit equal sum return. Then your column. Enter. Okay. And it's going to put that in. And again, if you you see that little yellow dot? Once you have that in, slide it over. And when you click on that, each individual cell, in other words, you see it's going to highlight what that formula is. And if you look down here, it tells you some February. So you can very easily get started with this. Now when you add rows, click on this icon in the corner here, slide down, just to show you that the format comes with those new rows that we added in. Very handy feature. And the footer automatically, um, all of the rows that you added goes above the footer and that new row that you added is automatically in the formula. Very handy feature. I hope you guys found this helpful and let us know if you'd like us to do more of these. Thank you very much and it's a pleasure working with you guys.